Surely you must be joking, Meister Fiddlewick. I shall not reward the slaying of my guild members with salaries and contracts. If these beasts weren't vital to the operation of the Foundry, I'd charge every one of them with murder, and they could all go to the gallows. Funny that you mention legal action. Last I recall, slavery was a criminal offense in Stonebridge. Shall we take this matter to the courts? I didn't expect to find you both here. What's this all about? Now that you've done Castle's dirty work and violently ended the strike, he wants to dishonor the dead by maintaining the status quo. Those beasts went mad. Don't try to rationalize their crimes. What Meister Castle means to say is that he thinks the Cyclopses are mere animals. I say, anything that has a mind has rights. The Cyclopses agreed to stop fighting, if I speak to you on their behalf. You... what? What nonsense is this? Meister Castle is an endless font of courtesy and grace. Go ahead! Thank the Legion for saving your lives. Yes, yes, thank you for ending the violence. But what do you mean you speak for them? Those beasts are making demands? The Cyclopses have a manifesto of demands. They want better treatment from now on. A manifesto? What kind of nonsense is that? An old man gave it to them. Do you know anyone with a grudge against your guild? An old man? The dapper old gent, no doubt. When Wolf hears about this, he's going to give me the I told you so of a lifetime. Why would the dapper old gent care about the Foundry? The whole economy of Stonebridge rests on the power of the Foundry's churning gears and the cheap metal goods that our forges provide. The economy of Stonebridge hinges on its workers, not your machines. But yes, the Foundry is a crucial part of our supply chain. The Foundry needs to reopen, one way or another. I speak for the Cyclopses, so whatever I say, they will honor. I'm not surprised. You're an educated person, worthy of respect. Unlike certain others I could name. The Cyclopses deserve a fair wage, don't you think? Let's go and tell them that we agree to their terms. Shut your goblin spout! They agreed long ago to servitude as payment for their crimes. They cannot just ignore a contract. Meister Fiddlewick, you clearly favor the Cyclopses. I'd like to hear your side of the argument. For years this city has flourished, largely at the expense of the Cyclopses, slaving away in the Foundry. Castle used you. He told you the Cyclopses had gone mad so you would enforce his profit margin. Why do you think he lied to you? There is nothing subtle about my argument. The Cyclopses are thinking, reasoning beings and should not be slaves to any man or goblin. Meister Kessel, you said the Cyclopses agreed to servitude? Years ago, long before the Legion fell, a tribe of Cyclopses wandered down from the mountains and raided the town. At great cost, the people of Stonebridge bested them. Their chieftain agreed to a lifetime of servitude to spare his people from the noose. Yes, I profit from their work, but so does the whole city. A contract is a contract. We can't ignore rules and laws. Not even old ones. I've heard enough. I'm ready to decide. My hands are tied. The Cyclopses will listen to you and you alone now that you've beaten them. I pray you make the right choice. And I, for one, respect the old tradition of letting the Legion be the mediators of best resort. I know you will choose rightly. The Cyclopses acted in self-defense. They must be given fair wages and treated with respect. What? Nonsense! The Cyclopses are bound by an agreement. If you wanted my vote, you just lost it. Bah! Tell them... Tell them I will negotiate their wages. This decision is foolish, but I won't have the Cyclopses leave. The city needs them. I knew I could count on a college man to do the right thing. You have my thanks, Reinhardt, and the Legion will have my vote.
terribly sorry. Meister Castle has insisted that we have no further dealings with the Legion. Castle believes you capitulated to the demands of thugs. But I am grateful for your help. More of our colleagues would surely have died if not for you. We fixed the gears as well as we could. The Foundry is impressive when it comes to life. True. The whole city relies on the power of our furnaces and gears. Here is a little something for your trouble. Did you find my men? Are they all right? Yes, they're safe. They are? As and I bless you, and all the saints as well. I wish I had more to reward you with, but this is all I can give. I didn't help you for a reward, but if you mention this to Castle, we'd appreciate it. Your generosity knows no bounds, my friend. I'll tell Castle, and I'll raise a glass in your honor next time I'm drinking with my mates. I'm glad I caught you. There's trouble all over Stonebridge. The automatons, they've gone mad. They're tearing the city apart. Everything was quiet a few hours ago. One moment they were fine, the next they just changed. As if someone took control of them. It's been less than an hour, and they've already taken the main square. They're fighting like an army, working together, attacking every person they see. What happened to all the people? They're hiding indoors. A few are still on the street, and I'm trying to keep them safe. We're sheltering people in the chapter house, too. Odo's barred the doors. All right. What's our plan? The automatons are headed for the city hall. You've got to warn the Meisters. Save them if you can. I'll be all right. Go! Using automatons to slaughter helpless people. This is the work of a coward. One more down. Not going well here.
Much obliged. The gent! He was here! As soon as you entered the hole, he fled! The, the gent was here? Did he speak to you? He threatened us! Told us he was going to bring down the city! The madman said we deserved it! You don't seem hurt. What about the other Meisters? Just a few cuts and bruises. My own automatons held the doors and kept the enemy at bay. The gent never got to my constables. Bad luck for him! <laughs> He fled on foot? No. He opened one of those shimmering doors, just over there, in the corner. Clever fellow. He's using causeways to sneak about. Let's see we go after him. <laughs> 